protect you. Well, Adrita, do you know the difference between a talker and a speaker? Of course I know. The talkers talk just like a chit chat and the speakers speak. Let's move on. Let's call our honorable judges, Mohammed Yasir Sar. And, and we like to call our honorable judges, Akramul Haq. I want, to, I want you guys to take their respect to say. Thank you. Okay. We would like to move on our competition. At first, we like to invite our first participator, Afra Ibnad, for her speech. Thank Let's you. Let's give a round of applause for her. Dear viewers, I would like to start by asking you a question. How many genes do Homo sapiens have? Two, right? But us, Bangladeshis, have two very unique genes. Can you guys guess? Doctors and ingenious. Dear viewers, I am Afra Ibnath and I would like to talk on this topic that is can't I be something else other than being the stereotypical professions. I once wrote and I quote, do something that you love to do and you will never have to work again. I went up to my mom being very confident and said, mom, I don't want to read medicine. My mom said, why? That is our family's tradition. And I said, mom, do traditions make us or we make them? After saying this, she went silent. And I'm joking. She used every single drop of her teas that day. Can you guys relate? Now, I would like to talk about my cousin today. Her age of marriage has come up a few years back. But she never gets demotivated. She always tries to try new professions. She has tried boutiques, teaching and what not. Every time our relatives say to her that, why don't you be stable in one profession? But she every time replies, soon, very soon I will. And one day I went up to her and said, Apu, what does it really take to be that motivated? She went silent. She began crying. She replied by saying, you know, once my mom said, I believe in you. That's what really takes to sa sail her boat. Today, I would like to end by quoting this quotation that says, find something that you would love to do and get someone to pay you for it. Today, I find something that I would love to do publicly and I got someone to pay me for. Thank you. Peace. Uh, okay. Afra, you did very well. Uh, Thank you, we sir. didn't tell you that on what points we'll evaluate. Uh, for your information, let's share the points or the criteria, we will give you points on introduction, how you started the presentation, and then you have got the body of the presentation, the content you presented today, and we have got body language and eye contact, and also we have got voice modulation, how you can play with your voice, in pronunciation also, and enunciation, meaning clarity of the presentation. We will highlight the voice modulation, the pronunciation and enunciation, meaning the clarity of the presentation and also the ending, how you ended the presentation. Okay. You did very well and uh, congratulations, lady. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, Mr. Akram. Yes, sir. Uh, what did you see? You know, what I have felt that the content she has chosen here, I was thinking, how can someone in this age can talk about all kind of adversities and challenges the girls are facing here? I really appreciate your content. Thank you very much. This is, this is really the platform, we must say, right? Yeah, thank you. Great. Okay, they yeah. are getting the platform at Tissol Bangladesh as we are finding the Tissol genius. Right, right, so let's move on. Okay. Our next participant is Tasfiq Aslam. People, what's 2 plus 2 divided by 2? Two? 2? Cut it. It's not 2, it's 3. Division first, then comes an addition. Why you forgot this rule? You know why? Because we all are somewhat individualistic. 
before dividing the task amidst us, we think of adding our contribution instead. The reason is, we are surrounded by people who infiltrate our thoughts to become individualistic. So, this is Tashfiq Aslam, and my today's topic is, we, not me. See, we grew individualism in us as our superiors guide us in such a way that compels us to be so. But hey, we not, must not forget, the team wins the match, one way or the other. We must think together, work together, and apply together. But it's a matter of grief that we are more likely to show how talented we are and what we can really do. But hey, there's certainly a place where we are all very associated. The exam hall. United we stand, together we fall. Bro, please help me with the geometry. I'll take care of the algebra. Hell yeah. <laughs> Though there are some retards who just don't really help others and they give the exams all by themselves. Rascals, I mean. Okay, whatever. So what I was saying, see, teamwork is there in nature as well. Gravel ants, gravel ants build larger nests to safeguard themselves from predators. The coolest thing about them is that they use the same tactic to protect the caterpillars. You know why? The caterpillars discharge sugary fluids needed for the nourishment of the ants. The thing also provides sticky substances which helps build the colony. And in return, the ants provide these so flow guys with an army of protection. Remember, coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. And working together is success. And keep that in mind. We are not a team because we work together. We are a team because we respect, trust, and care for each other. And that's what Phil Jackson said. The strength of each team is each individual member and the strength of each individual member is the team. You wanna go fast? Go alone. You wanna go far? Go together. Amy Poehler once said, get a bunch of people who inspire and challenge you. Spend a lot of time with them. This will change your life forever. Hence, we must sacrifice personal interest while working in a group. Last but not the least, good teams become great ones when the members of the team trust each other well enough to surrender the me for the we. Thank you all. Uh, how come, right? So finally we have got some, uh, a great speaker here. You know what? I started to just remember a quote, United we stand, divided, divided we, fall. we fall. Thank you, thank you for the content and the body language and jolly mode he has. And he, he played with the voice, right? That's good. We are That's so, good. so pleased. Uh, may Allah bless you. Uh, mm -hmm. Be a great speaker. Right, and uh, be a representative of the country Bangladesh. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Next participant, Raisa Hassan. Oh my God, it's poison. Well, if I offer you to take this poison, will you take it? No. The answer is obviously no, right? Yeah. Well, and something just like this, right? Well, you know, there are decisions in life where saying yes can kill you, like this poison or can sometimes result in some, like, something like this. Well, on the other hand, if you say no, you can lead a happy life with self-dignity, just like this. Well, I'm Raisa Hassan before you, and the topic of my presentation today, no, how to say no. You know that no is a very powerful word. The meaning of no well, depends on the individual, each individual's, well, opinion and taste. And most of the people in our society, well, obviously, take no as a stoppage sign for future possibilities, just like this. Or sometimes it can also result in something like this. I'm finished. Well, but an optimist person may take no as a sign or as a turning point of his life. But I think that's why APJ Abdul Kalam said, well, if you get no as an answer, remember, no means next opportunity. Well, the, but the question rises, well, why should we say no? Well, consider me as your friend. Well, if I offer you drugs as a friend, will you take it? No. The answer is obviously no, right? And something, like this. No way. 
Well, you know, like this, sometimes we have to say no to our friends, sometimes we have to say no to the society, sometimes we have to say no to a no. Well, I think that's why W. Clement Stone said, have the courage to say no. Have the courage to face the truth. Do the right thing because it is right. Well, these are the major keys to live your life with integrity. But then again, the question arises, well, how should we say no? You know, sometimes saying no is so much difficult and you think that you can't do it. But remember, saying no might be difficult, but it is not impossible. Well, I think that's why Madonna Kakuni said that freedom comes when you learn to let go. Creation comes when you learn to say no. And let us promise, let us promise that we will say no to every immoral activity. Well, I promise to do that for my country and for my people. You will promise with me too, right? Yes. Won't you? Yes, thank you, everyone. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Uh, a great presentation exactly. indeed. Right? I just take one word. Impressive. 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 Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. May thank Allah you. bless you. Right. Okay. Let's move on then. Okay. We would like to call our next participant, Zara Khan. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Walaikum assalam. My dear viewers, I am Elizabeth Blackwell, oh. wow. the most famous female doctor in the whole world. Oh. And this morning, I woke up and looked at the mirror and I saw her. Okay. But that's not me. Well, actually, I'm Zara Khan, and today I want to talk about why you should be yourself and not anyone else. This society wants us to follow the paved ways of the already successful people, yes. not to make a road on our own. Well, have you ever been compared to someone? Yes. Of course. Of course, yes, mostly. Because we inferior beings are too afraid to take risks on our own, to find our own potentials, and hence we imitate. And more and more risky, the thing we do is we force other to imitate, yes. to be someone completely else. But we forget, we don't even know how, uh, how bad it is, imitation, how bad it is to imitate someone. And I say that because my own uncle, at the age of only six, was forced to study at Madrasa, only so my grandfather could make him the next, not, not anyone else, the next Tariq Zamil, Maulana Tariq Zamil. He had to be that. He couldn't be himself. So his old childhood was just lost. He was forced yes. to pray the father, father at just the dawn. He was beaten and nothing. He had nothing of himself. Oh my God. And the worst thing is, he lost himself. He destroyed his life and the life of his other family members. He rebelled and took to drugs. This society doesn't know the fine line between inspiration and imitation. There are role models in every culture. It's okay to be inspired by them, to learn from their mistakes, to know what their potentials are and what my potentials are. But it is not okay to copy them. An original is always better than a copy. So I want everyone to look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves who they are. They should try, everyone must try to know themselves and tell themselves that whoever you are and whoever you're going to be, you are okay. It's okay to be you. And that's why Socrates said, be thyself, know thyself. And I hope everyone understand this. The society comes to uh, justify people on their own and not to compel them to copy someone. And at last, love yourself. Peace. Thank you, Zara. Uh, just wow, she got yeah, right. Okay. Good master, actually. We can mm. be a good observer and we should not be a bl blind follower. Yes, That's sir. the more I think uh, we should just take yes. from this. And we thing. should be... Thank you. Thank we, you. actually. I should be I. Yeah. Like, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, Zara. Let's go, go for the next one, please. So thank you so much, Zara. She is so cute. 
let's call our next participant, Ifat Zahan Khan Richie. So thank you very much. So hello everybody. Good hello. evening. This is me, Richie Khan. Before you just wait. Was I sounding like a robo or typical Bengali presenter? Or we can say Bangladeshi Both. presenter? Both. Of course. So, should I bring the real me? Yes, oh, first. Sure. Of course, Please. we want that. Okay. Wow. 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 Woo. So many cameras are capturing me. Yes. And there are so many audiences as well. I feel famous right now. Yes. Okay, you are. <laughs> so, today we're going to talk about haters, bullies, mean people. So, do you know what hate is? Feeling. <laughs> hate is a disease. And the person who is affected by this disease suffers from at least one from the three in common. Those three symptoms are they hate themselves, they want to be you, or may consider you as a threat, or you have something special that they don't have. Think about it. Have you ever met a hater doing better than you? Mostly no, right? Yeah. There are haters everywhere, in schools, political arena, and news broadcasting, and even in this place, maybe. <laughs> OK. <laughs> really? So do you know what is the truth of this hater? No, I don't. They're insecure. Yeah. They're unhappy. They have led themselves to believe that if they put others down, they will succeed. But they won't because hate begets hate. And do you know who has got the most number of haters? Of course, the successful one, right? And do you know that what revenge they had taken? Of course, they have become more successful. And this is the best for you. Yes, of course. A wise girl says, say that haters are my motivators. I don't know who the hell said this, but I totally agree with this. I learned to let go of things, and I understood that, that a person cannot be liked by everyone. So I want to ask the audiences and the people who are watching me right now that, do you guys like me? Yes, yes. of course. Of course. We do, we do. We do like <laughs> you. Maybe some people don't. Maybe. 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 Because you can't please everyone, right? Everyone of course. Can, yeah. Because haters are kind of, whatever you do, they will criticize you. And you have to remember that they are your biggest fans. Yeah, because I they chase you, leaving their all important works. <laughs> so, just you have to remember that, uh, that haters will, uh, are losers. They are absolute losers. So, I hope that all your haters have a long life. Wow. So that they can see you achieving success. So, lastly, I want to tell that if you guys love me, great. If you guys hate me, even better. <laughs> but if you guys don't know me, so please don't try to judge me at all. Thank you very much for listening. Okay. Peace. Ooh, thank you. Yes, sir. You must use one of your wise, wise sentence for her. Uh, actually, she is Bangladesh. All right, yeah, you are Bangladesh. So <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Thank she's you so cute. Much. Oh. She's entertainer. She's entertainer. She's oh. everything, right. Yeah, right thank she's you. She's everything. a student of Tissot. <laughs> yeah. And she's a future Bangladesh. Inshallah. Yeah. She is our Bangladesh, Inshallah. right? Inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.